So first, I want to say I was not planning on doing a live tonight because I've had a really busy day. This is not like a professional live where I like break down the documents. This is just a uh, Holy moly, I just watched Emily D. Baker's stream and I've got thoughts and I'm sure you guys do too. So, what I'm actually doing was I was in the process of folding the kids' school clothes for tomorrow and needing to finish up washing dishes as I was listening to um, Emily's live stream, right? The whole time, you guys, I'm like, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm running in the living room to tell Sean about what's going on because he's trying to do his schoolwork, right? The kids have been asleep for a, for a little bit, so we're like doing what we do. Him, his schoolwork, me, my housework. I'm gonna tell you guys the type of day that I've had. It's been extremely busy. I had a doctor's appointment. I lost a few nails along the way. These two broke off when I was pumping gas. You know how when you grab the handle and you push a little thing where it's supposed to stick, but then it don't stick and it flies up? Yeah, flew up, broke two nails. I'm just gonna take them off and be done with it. But anyways, y'all, I was not expecting. Hey, Jamal, welcome, welcome, welcome. I was not expecting what happened today to happen. I wasn't expecting it ever at all, ever, ever, ever. So I'm gonna try to do the stream where we just talk about it and give our thoughts. As I'm washing dishes, I apologize. I'm gonna, um, I'm so blown away. <sighs> that live was like life. That live was life. Like I can't even, okay, so, I have a friend that is a moderator for Emily, right? Actually, y'all, I didn't even tell my mods I was going live. That's how crazy all of this was. I gotta tell my, I didn't tell my mods I was going live. I'm such a terrible person. Um, okay, if anybody sees, I cannot believe I didn't even tell my lives. Okay, so when she was live, I'm like running in there telling Sean everything that's going on. And, um, hey, TT, can you reach out to Candy and tell her that you just saw that I was live, please? Um, I literally jumped on Twitter and was like, I'm going live. Thank you so much for the super chat, uh, Nightrunner. Thank you. I, I literally decided last minute because I got on Twitter to see what everybody was saying. And Nat B was like, you need to do a Patreon about this. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go live on on. on YouTube and talk about all of it like I, this is mind-blowing and then in the process of setting my ring light up in the kitchen so I could wash dishes I'm such a terrible youtuber not to even tell my team which is the heart of me like they keep me they make everything right I didn't even tell them that I was going live so I'm so sorry my mods I hope they join and they're not mad at me okay I wish I could get out and go text them, but I can't because um, it'll cut this off. Y'all, I don't even know if my mods know that Lori Ann flipped. So let me tell you guys, I'm sure y'all watched it, right? I'm sitting in a chair. I'm going to just have to stand. Thank you, TT. Um, where's my little scrub brushy thing? Okay. We all know like the whole Lori Ann thing, right? Like, Lori Ann has been what she even identified herself as, Katie's bulldog. Now, I think a lot of us was not sure, like, if it was directed by KJ. Because as a creator myself, I can honestly say, like, we have... Um, okay, Lori Ann was just a, a regular viewer for, for the longest. She was a regular viewer. But she was always in KJ streams. And, like, every time KJ had any problems if anybody coming to kj's live stream like saying anything sideways or anything to her it, whether it be calling her out on her crap saying that that's not a fact you stated that as a fact you're lying or just saying kj why do you do this any little thing any little things thank you so much fairy dustin for the super chat any little thing lori went at them like she would go hard at them you know for kj um, she done it all over social media. She done it on Twitter. She done it on YouTube. Anywhere that someone may say something about Katie, Lori was there to defend her. 
So at one point, um, Katie has brought Lorianne up saying like, oh, if you come for me, you're gonna deal with Lorianne. Uh, so she's made these comments. Lorianne's my best friend. Lorianne is a bulldog. You don't wanna mess with Lorianne. All these things, right? She has said stuff like this. And um, I think we all just really wonder, like, is Lorianne just a super fan that does it on her own behalf? Or is she doing this because she's directed by Katie? She become involved in the lawsuit. I'm going to tell you guys where this lawsuit started. What are you talking about? Who is Katie and who is KJ? Katie is from Without a Crystal Ball, also known as KJ. She has a few, di few different names, Without a Crystal Ball, Katie, KJ, Katie Paulson, Catherine Paulson, Catherine Joy Paulson, Mansky, I don't know. So she has a few different names that she goes by, right? So she has a YouTube YouTube channel where she has 100 and something, 30, 136,000 subs where she is being um, sued right now by Tati Westbrook because for defamation. In my personal opinion, she defamed the crap out of Tati, and she is rightfully so being sued, in my opinion. Now, Lori Ann has been KJ's fiercest, by own, by Katie's own admission, Lori Ann is her most fierce fan, subscriber, friend. She's literally said, we, like, that's my best friend, right? Do you got words? I feel like Sean got words. What you got? Sean didn't watch it. I just told him about it. Nothing. I was just listening to you. Okay. She's like a YouTube hitman for She's Katie. like a YouTube hitman for Katie, you know? Um, yeah, my mind can help, but this account is permanently so bad. Um, if I have anybody blocked, I'm sorry. Um, so, when this all first started, because I don't think everybody knows what's went on on Twitter, right? Because I had someone reach out to me today saying, like, I feel terrible for Lori Ann. Now, this is at before, this is before the filing or that we were notified of the filing before we knew about the filing a file before we knew hey everyone i've been chatting invisible for 10 minutes i'm so sorry so before we knew about this filing i had someone message me and say look i'm reaching out to you because i feel terrible for Ann. like she may have lost her job she may have kids she was roped into this um she was roped into this, you know, lawsuit just because she took up for Katie. You know, I've taken up for you. I've taken up for other YouTubers that I really enjoy. And I just don't feel that it's right that she may, like, lose her job over this. Can you, like, take us, like, stand up for Lorianne and, and, like, kind of defend her? And I'm like, ooh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm washing dishes. I said this wasn't going to be like a, um... A professional stream tonight because I'm having to wash dishes. I'm so sorry. I'll use my washcloth instead of my scrub brush. So the person that reached out to me, I'm just like I'm just stream and I'll, I'll watch them later. Fine. Okay, I'm just gonna stream for a little bit, yeah, then I'll stream. do. It. Just worry about so that. the person that reached out to me, I'm like, I don't know because Lori has went at so many people. You know, like Lori came at me. And then the person did not know how how Lorianne was on social media. I'm so sorry about my top knot. It's a little janky. So let me tell you guys what happened on Twitter if you don't follow what happened on Twitter. So when the filings was made public, they were made public by I'm freaking raking. I'm effing raking. And it's like this bomb is dropped to everyone, you know, like, KJ being sued by Tati Westbrook, and we're all like, no way. Well, like, immediately, Michael Saltz, the lawyer, like, retweets it, and he's like, news travels fast. Well, then, Lori Ann is like, you're not the real lawyer. You're impersonating a lawyer. Don't you know you can get in trouble for impersonating a lawyer? And the guy, Michael, is like, Saucy, is like, um, excuse me, <laughs> I am a lawyer. So then she goes and like looks him up, but the information that she finds on, on Salty is from when he was like 20 and an intern or something, you know what I'm saying? So she is like, she shows a picture of him from when he was younger and is like claiming that 
he's still doing what he done when he was like 20 years ago or whatever. She's like, this is you and this is what you really do. You're like an intern, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, that's a nice picture because that's 20 years ago, you know, and now I work for blah, blah, blah. So she was like saying that he was a fake. She was like, don't you know that you can go to, like, what is she, didn't you know there was like a felony offense to impersonate a lawyer? She was trying to, she was straight up saying that he was impersonating a lawyer. So then he has to take a picture of himself in his office and is like, hey, I'm in my office. I'm real with like documents, like exhibit A, exhibit B. So this is going down on Twitter, like in the days after the lawsuit is filed, right? And she was like straight up saying that he was a fake. Then what happens? Oh, so then she's like in Katie's streams, like super chatting Katie saying that, uh, Tati's lawyer's weird. He's been passive aggressive at me, like making all these like rude comments, right? Um, so she gets roped into the lawsuit because she catches his attention for one. Like Lori Ann would have never caught his attention if she would not have insinuated that he was a fake lawyer or straight up called him out for being a fake lawyer. But when she done that, he's like, well, who is this? He starts looking into her, realizes she lives in Washington which is they need people, they need to prove that Katie has viewers in Washington to prove jurisdiction, right? That's what I said earlier. What? It's crazy how fast people turn when their own ass is on the line. Oh, did somebody say that? Yeah. Yeah. So, honestly, Lori brought the attention on herself. If she just would have stayed quiet, watched the streams, maybe super chatted here and there, but not spoke about that, he would have never looked at her to be like, okay, who are you and where are you from? But because she was so vocal on social media and like going at him, he was like, okay, who are you? Then when they was like, um, filed for dismissal due to jurisdiction, he had to prove that she had viewers in Washington. And then there's Lori Ann who's already called Saucy's attention. And let me tell you something about Saucy. Like he had, someone went after one of his clients, like tried to sue one of his clients. And now that person is in jail on criminal charges because Saucy is like a beast. So that person had done something criminal, broken the law. From like the past, From right? the past, like, yeah. Did, not even involving his Not case. even involving the case, right? It was something totally unrelated. But when the person sued Saucy's client, Saucy starts looking into the dude, realizes that the dude has broken the law, gets that brought back up, the dude gets put in jail. Gets the people that, the victims to come forward. Gets the victims to come press forward. Charges yep. on that dude. He basically represented the victims. The victims from what whatever. we understand. Or, I don't know if that he represented them, but he went to them and got them to come forward and that person got put in jail. So, so also he won like a nine hundred million dollar lawsuit that involved Arnold Arnold say his last name Arnold Schwarzenegger. Him. He also represented Aaron Spelling's widow, Cindy Spelling. Um, he's like a young Perry Mason. Like he's, he's yes, a, yes. A man he's a, he's a beast, right? And he's also one of those lawyers, like the the lawyer that I had when I was dealing with my um my arrest case. He's very much like this. Like he will go to bat for you, and he takes it personal, and like he wants to like hang you if you come for his people also like right now i have two attorneys one's a female and she's very much like that as well right so anyways um so he's like paying attention to lori he gets her brought into this lawsuit by saying hey here's lori she is a member of katie's she's super she she sends super chats to katie and she lives in washington then in the declaration Kim does a declaration on Tati's side saying that she's been, like, threatened by Lori. And she finds out, she, like, digs her own information. Is Because this is what happens on the interweb, social media, or whatever. When you're constantly, like, bullied by someone or harassed by someone or they keep your name in their mouth for no reason and you're not saying anything, what you do is you're like, who is this person? Let me figure out who this is. Are they crazy? Do I have to worry about them? And Lori is this Ann, a real person? is this a real person? Yeah. Like Lori Ann was telling Kim, I have biker gangs that like can come handle business. They're not scared to go to jail. So Kim takes it upon herself to figure out who is Lori Ann. 
So she finds Lorianne's name and what she thinks is her um, job and all of this thing. So in her declaration, she puts that in there. Like, this is who Lorianne, Lorianne is. I found all this while trying to figure out who she was, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but the information was wrong. What? You got to read the comments in case I miss them. Somebody said that KJ was live and about Dr. Phil, and she had no idea that everything went down. They said the horse poop hit the fan. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she yes. had no idea. Yeah, now but, she's claiming that. Let me tell you now something. she's probably freaking out. If if somebody called Dr. Phil, I can guarantee you they sent him a bunch of evidence to prove that she's crazy and they want him to help her. Yeah, I know. And I, she's not going to go there as like, hey, Dr. <laughs> Drew, he's going to be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Be like an you intervention. Know? I know that's what I said when I when I saw that she she posted a video saying that uh, Dr. Phil wants her on the show. I was like, well, no shit, he wants you on the show. <laughs> so, anyways, um, okay. So, in the declaration, Kim's part of it. The information that Kim had was not correct. The job was for another Lorian, and that Lorian worked for the state of Washington. So, the, Lori Ann was like, oh, my God, like, that's not the real me. So, she contacts Katie, who she says in her declaration that she done, she talked to Katie all the time. She even says that Katie instructed her to what? To what? Mass flag people's channels. Yes. She straight up says Maybe in that man. declaration that Katie would go to her and be like, I need you to mass flag people's channels. She even named Sherelle's World and Little Red. Now, I feel like Lori may not like me enough to say Leslie Bass. And I've, that's always been like one of those things, like did she, didn't she? And maybe Lori Ann's like hanging on to the last little bit of like, we're not gonna prove that, we're not gonna prove that, so she didn't name me. But I bet Lori Ann was one of the ones that mass flagged me as well. But she said that in her, in her statement, okay? So, but Lorianne goes to Katie and is like, that's the wrong Lorianne. Like, I don't want to be in this. I want y'all to, to, to put it out there or whatever that that's the wrong Lorianne. Because I don't want that Lorianne getting crap for the stuff that I've been involved in on social media and on YouTube. Which is and, pretty honorable. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, it's then pretty. she's also like, and I'll hand over my messages like y'all can have them i just want to be out of this you know and the 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 lawyer is like i'll represent you free of charge um yeah. i'm gonna write up or i'm gonna have you sign like a blank declaration just sign it and then i'll type it up or i'll type it up sign it leave room to tweak it and Lorianne said she was uncomfortable with that because she didn't want to sign something that could be changed later on without her knowledge but he wanted her to say he was like i'm gonna write something up saying that her lawyer saucy like harassed and threatened you and you felt threatened and you're gonna sign this declaration right and she was like she didn't want to do that because while he had been in her words, like passive aggressive to her. He had not threatened her or um, harassed her, so she didn't want to do that. Uh, so, Shady Things is like, oh, KJ's lawyer also told her to um, turn him in, to report him to the, uh, bar the Bar Association. Yes, to like try to get him like this barred. Yeah, this that's crazy. Yes. And like, I feel like, I feel like, oh, uh, what's her name? I'm sorry. Lori? Lorianne? Lorianne, yeah, like she has been Katie's, like one of Katie's right right hand wom women, woman women. for a while, women. I guess. Yeah. And, um. My bun is bothering me. Keep going. She's starting to act like Katie, messing with your hair all the time. I started that. What? <laughs> messing with my hair all the time. Anyways, um. So, you know, but. And she's always done what Katie's asked her to do, you know, I guess. She says and that, that. That's how you get along with Katie. And and I I just think it's funny that like back back when Leslie and Katie were trying to get along and like they made amends or whatever. And that's what talking, Katie would do. She that's would how like, it do was. This, that's do exactly that. how it was. Katie was constantly wanting to like run Leslie's Leslie's And I have proof of that that I'll channel show. and and like tell her what to do and 
Just one little piece. I keep, I'm going to have to keep quit looking at my... i got a mustache hair, like, just bothering me. Oh, stop touching your hair. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, and, and now that she's, like, I guess hit a, hit a line, you know, they're turning on each other. Or she's turning on Katie, but she's attacked all kind of other people for the last year. And not realizing that that's exactly how it was for a lot of those people. That's the thing, though. It's like, now is she trying to say right. that Katie is like, she's like, oh, like, I, I started realizing that Katie's lawyer wanted me to do shady things. This whole time, Katie's been getting you to do shady things. Is it strictly now because you're in hot water in a lawsuit that now you're like too noble to do these shady things i mean in my opinion like while oh, i'm Lord. glad while i'm glad that she stepped forward and she switched sides and she's telling all that she's telling i there's a huge part of me that is like Lori, you knew you were doing wrong when you were like besties with katie well i think that it was like youtube drama for a while and in her mind, it probably wasn't any that big, like didn't matter. That serious, and now it's real life drama. Like it's legal drama. It's going to a courtroom. It's being brought up in in legal paperwork. It's uh, possibly having to go do a what do they call those things? Deposition. deposition. Yeah. yeah, deposition. And, you know, it's it's real life, and I think it got real to her real quick. So now she is trying to back out of it. You know, yeah. I think the dirt that she did before was just kind of like being messy, like whatever, you know, and, and, and it probably didn't, it, it probably was, it, it was probably a, it, she probably, it was probably detached from reality, honestly, you know, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because <laughs> my people... thing is like, it don't take long watching Katie just as a viewer to be like, damn, she's mean. Why would I support that? Like, I think last night a lot of people saw that with her. When she was on the stream saying, like, today's been eight years. And this aggravates me, honestly. Like, I don't want to downplay somebody's feelings. But she literally said in her post later on on Twitter, she's like, I was talking about when my, the day my son died. He didn't die. Like, if you're going to say the day my son died, you need to put in there... And had to be resuscitated because he came back. Like, you are leaving that so... Like, her tweet... So, let me tell you what happened last night. So, last night she was live because apparently yesterday was the eight-year anniversary of the day that her son had to be rushed to the hospital because he quit breathing and he had to be brought back to life, right? So... She goes on live, and she's like, all day, I've been, like, just couldn't get motivated. I was off. I didn't know why I was off. I thought maybe it was because of what was going on, you know, over here in the in the States uh, with, with uh, Capitol Hill and all of that. But I was like, no, that's not going to bother me too bad. And then she says she gets an email from a friend, like, reminding her, like, hey, today is a eight-year anniversary from when that happened with your son. And then she's like, oh... That's it. That's why I'm so bothered, you know. So, she goes on a live and she's like telling everybody that. What happens when you go on a live telling your story? Like, a tr just like the other night, okay. So, the other night when me and Flossie went live to um, 